Right, I've got an idea. You're always negative about one length clubs, aren't you? I've never really bought into the concept here, you. you're right, yeah. Well, wipe that, wipe that clear. I don't want no preconceptions. You've never tried them? Never tried them. And I've not really given them a go, to be honest with you. I've sort of had the odd go in the driving range, but never give them a fair crack of the whip. So what we're going to do, one length, nine iron, seven iron, five iron, and the F9 one length hybrid. A one length hybrid? One length hybrid, it's a weird one, but I've got them. We're going out on the course back at Conway, see if we can change your mind and maybe mine as well. Right, Lou, we're a few shots in. We've tried most of the irons, uh, hybrid a good few times. Give me some feedback so far. So, I think hybrid, I like. Probably, you know, fair assessment that the, the performance of them isn't that, that bad, you know. Um, it's not great. You know, I don't play a hybrid. Uh, the normal length I like more. Irons, a little bit unsettled with them. That's what do you assessment. mean? Unsettled why? As in, I don't stand over my own 9-iron nine or any 9-iron nine that we sort of try or get to hit and I question the quality of strike or just Why? Because it's gotten doubt because of the length? Yeah, it's, it, it's the length. It, it feels alien. It, it looks alien. Um, the distance is there. You know, there's no doubt about it that, you know, when you hit them, they go it goes further. So this is just, I don't know whether I mentioned it in the intro, but this is the F9 Speedback heads that we're using, don't forget. So they're, they're stronger lofted anyway, uh, in terms of what we're using. Don't, you can play one length, obviously, in, in the forged irons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these are a stronger lofted set. But at the minute, I mean, basically, the nine irons going longer than your normal, well, me anyway, from my perspective, slightly longer, not overly different. Five but, iron going slightly shorter. What do you feel as you're sacrificing? No, well, at the moment, I, I'm stu I've not got a great deal of positivity, if I'm honest. No. And seven iron, five iron that we've tried. Well, across the board, really, because it, it's the it's. The, I've done this review a couple of years ago, and the problem I have, it's the what you called alien. It's just getting in your head. Maybe if you're new to golf, and you're not got. I've played golf for 30 years, and a nine iron length is. I'm I'm expecting something. And it's not what you expect, and it's it's off-putting. I can't get my head around it, and yeah. that's the bit I find really, really difficult. Right, we're on the 17th. Now, if anyone's ever played Conway Golf Club, you'll know this is one of the tightest, it's a card wrecker. You'll see how tight it is up there. Lewis is gonna go and show how it's done with the Cobra One Length Hybrid. And well, then it's my turn. Is it this well, to be fair? It, it just looks odd, doesn't it? Well, that's right down the middle. That's right down the middle. Oh, it's had a bit of a kick to the left. But that's good. Right, Lou, give me a response to what happened there. Cobra one length hybrid. So, I like it more than I thought I would like it. Okay. It's very easy to hit, there's no question. I don't think you sacrifice as much difference, uh, distance as you'd think by having a really short sort of hybrid. 
it's actually it's actually quite a nice club yeah nice club it's a little bit strange feeling the uh, you know i'm certainly not the tallest of people standing over it it looks strange i mean even from stood it, back here it, it looked odd it looks strange it feels strange but you know like we do it's all about performance it's very easy to hit out the middle of the club and you know i've hit quite a few good shots of it um and and sort of this is a pretty tough hole and i had no problem standing up there it looks and, like you've got an odyssey chipper in your hand yeah well that's you know imagine if i turned up with this turned up with this game of golf it's like you know professional golfer that's it's the equivalent of a chipper isn't it you know we, we've probably fend, offended a load of people like with chippers in the bag but this is it feels as alien to me as a chipper would yeah. you know it, it's not it doesn't feel like a proper golf i suppose ultimately like a chipper it just if it works and it gets the ball in the hole in less shots and that's what oh, the aim of the game is isn't it effective. and as a club i'm sure a load of people will will, will benefit from it and love it and it'll become one of their favorite clubs yeah and and i have been impressed with the performance i didn't expect this because i think be. it, uh, sorry to interrupt it could be it's one of them go-to clubs where if you're not having a great game if it's something that you feel so you can pick up and not do a lot wrong with oh, it oh yeah yo especially you know if you're one of them who struggles to hit something off the fairway you know second shots or you know into par four or something you know, struggling for consistency of strike, etc. This is going to be a club which, you know, it is a real go-to and I think performs well. Good shot, mate. It's a good shot. And it's slightly out of the bottom grooves and I feel again every time I get over the hybrid I have it a few decent shots with it but I always feel like I'm really getting it out the bottom. The ball flight for me is massively different from that of the, and the uh, regular hybrid F9 is, uh, is to one side. Ball flight is a lot lower. I feel strange with it because what I'm showing you, I don't know, is that full frame? That, that is, yeah, yeah. I mean that's a 9-iron in my right hand and a hybrid in the left hand. And it is all about getting this thing in your head. If you're going to look at one length irons, I think, you know, would being like me, which is like having an issue with this whole thing about these two things being exactly the same length. I get it, I understand it, but I can't accept it somehow. And when I get over the ball, whether it be five iron hybrid or back down to the nine iron, it just throws me out completely. I do struggle with it, I really do. But, ball found the middle of the fairway, so. Right, so this is a nine iron. It was the same length as the hybrid, but it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Beautiful strike from Lou. That's right down the flag as well. Feedback? It's hard to argue that that's gone. I mean, the more you hit it, obviously, the more we've got used to it. Yeah. Um, I still don't like the look. I just can't get used to the fact that I'm, I'm hitting the 9 iron. I've just hit a rescue after two. It's the same length. But we've said that on every shot, isn't it? It's a real problem yeah. that we have, maybe just personally. Yeah, I mean, but the seven iron's okay, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, it, you don't question that one, yeah. It, it's crazy that you know they're all the same length as the seven iron. Maybe it's just we, you've we just got. A problem with the seven maybe iron. you've just got to have a more positive attitude towards this concept. That's yeah. the thing, isn't it? Right, stood here just adjacent to the 18th tee, and uh, plenty of shots hit. And I think we're in a position to give you a bit of a summary from each of us. Anyway, two different perspectives, but maybe the same result on this one. I think uh, we've effectively looked at three different products here, I suppose. So. F9 overall in terms of irons, give me the positives first of all on the F9 irons, the head themselves, forgetting the yeah, length so of the shaft. Yeah, so they're a game improvement club, so yeah. not something that you and I would normally, yeah. but you know, they perform pretty good. I think yeah. they're a strong loft, so a powerful iron, um, go a long way. Um, profile is sort of good for a game improvement club. Yeah, they look, they there, look bit, good. Confidence for some um, they're very forgiving. You know, we, we've certainly not hit everything out of the middle of the club, which is, you know, so that as a as a club, I, I definitely try their minds. Okay, F9 hybrid, first of all, just regular product, forgetting the one length. Give I me think, a summary. I think another positive. Yeah. Yeah, we like it, don't we? I think the out of everything we've tried today, for me, that, that stands out a lot. That's a real good, for me, uh, perform really, really well. Uh, slightly bigger profile, I think. I haven't got anything to compare it to in the bag today, but I think slightly bigger profile overall in the head size confidence inspiring very easy to pick up off the fairway as well good ball flight yeah good distance nice sound nice feel yeah it looks uh, good I, I think we, we we like that one if you're looking for a hybrid i'd definitely be giving that one a go 
Then we're going to talk about one length, the concept itself first of all. We've already mentioned this quite a bit, so I'll make this brief. What are your thoughts on one length? I'm just not sold on it. No. I just we've we've tried, you know, five seven nine. We've got the hybrid. Yeah. Every time we stand over a shot, it looks alien. Uh, it feels alien stood over it. Um, you know, pers from a personal point of view, I don't ever stand over my nine iron, my own nine iron, and think, Jesus, just make good contact with this. You know, it's not something that's in my. I am with this. It doesn't feel right. The five iron again, even though the five iron is shorter than my normal five iron still don't feel comfortable over the ball with it yeah i think there's two things for me is one that I, I again very similar in that sense that i really struggle to get the longer nine iron and the, obviously the shorter five irons it just doesn't sit right at all but then on the numbers wise i recorded some data yesterday at four golf in chester and very very briefly the nine iron with the longer shaft went longer than my nine iron so i was in around the 150 mark seven iron uh, powerful stronger lofted went in around the 170 which is where i'd expected to be and then the five iron dropped off a bit i was sort of 180 185 so the gap between seven iron into the longer irons then i worry about how that gapping works because effectively you're using a shorter shaft in those longer irons and that's where the difference was and the same applied into the hybrid i was only getting 180 185 with the yeah. one length hybrid whereas with the regular length hybrid into the 200 so i would worry about the gapping in that longer end of the bag as well yeah. but the the one thing i will say and you mentioned it on the t on 17 is that for people looking for a bit of confidence with a hybrid a bit of a go-to club then i still think this is worth having a look at this f9 hybrid yeah. one length i think the, the the hybrid one length we'd certainly advise or or, or feel more comfortable with um than the irons wouldn't we yeah i think for, i think for a lot of golfers if you're struggling confidence wise with the longer end of the bag then i think it's again well worth having a look at i can't again quite get my head around it but if you go in there with that open mind i think some people could get some consistency from that yeah maybe absolutely, yeah anyway as ever uh, that's our opinions and that's just two people it means very very little the important thing is get that out get out there and try them for yourself and if you're gaming these already if you've got some comments love to hear how they're getting on how you're getting out there on the golf course which is the all important bit has it helped your game has it helped consistency um other than that mate i think that's us done we're gonna have a quick nine all match i think isn't it that's it and a warm drink yeah it's a bit cold here this morning at conway gorgeous but a bit cold anyway thanks for watching and uh, see you soon what are you up to reading about cobra wallets <laughs> Sandy. Do you know what mate? I've been thinking. <laughs> Fucking hell. You got no chance of this. What do you think of one length irons? Why are you thinking of getting some? I'm not thinking of getting some, mate, but I need to No why you you didn't tell me you were gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of one lens? I've never been a big fan. <laughs> well, based on that positive <laughs> response, I can't wait to get out there. It's the only bit I've been consistent with. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just start saying that? I'd like them. I'd like them. They're mints. Can we have a go? I want to play with them all the time. Fuck. <laughs> Lou, one length clubs, what do you think of them? Oh, I've never been real. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting thought. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, the outtakes are superb. Right. Um, so, oh, I said M um, again. I mean, you'll don't worry them. about don't it. Just throw M's in. I love them. So, I. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> You're dying to say it, aren't you? I just You've got to say it, aren't you?